I'm Megan Gettinger, and I'm the communications coordinator here at St. Therese Little Flower Church in South Bend. And I want to invite you to pray our novena prayer um, to St. Therese. It's our way of celebrating her feast day and just uniting under her intercession um, as a parish family and as a church. So if you want to join me in praying that prayer, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. O glorious St. Therese, whom Almighty God has raised up to aid and inspire the human family, I implore your miraculous intercession. You are so powerful in obtaining every need of body and spirit from the heart of God. Holy Mother Church proclaims you prodigy of miracles, the greatest saint of modern times. Now I fervently beseech you to answer my petition and to carry out your promises of spending heaven doing good upon earth, of letting fall from heaven a shower of roses. Little flower, give me your childlike faith to see the face of God in the people and experiences of my life and to love God with full confidence. St. Therese, my Carmelite sister, I will fulfill your plea to be made known everywhere and will continue to lead others to Jesus through you. O oh, little Therese of the child Jesus, please pick for me a rose from the heavenly gardens and send it to me as a message of love. O oh, little flower of Jesus, ask God today to grant the favors I now place with confidence in your hands. St. Therese, help me to always believe, as you did, in God's great love for me, so that I might imitate your little way each day. Amen. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I just want to share with you um, just a brief reflection, actually, on our brand new logo. Um, you may have seen it around on our bulletin or um, on the, the feast day mailing that we did. And I've gotten the question, they're not roses. It's little. It's St. Therese's Little Flower, why aren't they roses? And I just want to share with you kind of some of the story leading up to the background to that um, and what we hope to communicate through our logo and how we hope it honors St. Therese. Um, so our logo is three uh, flowers kind of intertwined. You can see the stems of them. Um, and that really was to capture um, Therese's love for the wildflowers. Um, the roses weren't actually her favorite flower. Uh, she just, she had this great appreciation for the beauty um, and the truth that God speaks to us through a field of wildflowers. Um, she, she knew her littleness and she knew the uniqueness of every single soul and that all of our uniqueness together um, reflects that beauty that's seen in the wildflowers. Um, but there's the lily uh, all the way to the to the little violet, the little daisy. Um, each one of them has their own beauty and their own beautiful fragrance that is an offering up to to our Lord, and it's so pleasing. And that's um, she had such a beautiful recognition of the delight that He takes in every little flower. Um, so that's one of the things we wanted to capture in that, the bundle of three flowers. Um, as we were beginning to kind of reimagine the logo and think about how we wanted to honor Therese and what we want to communicate through that, uh, Father Terry shared with us some images, uh, some pictures he took when he was in Lisieux a few years ago. Um, I didn't know this, but Therese and I think most of her sisters as well were all artists, which I shouldn't be surprised. They were French girls and they were well educated. And, and uh, we know that Zelly had a, a very uh, successful lace business so I can I can imagine that the Martins appreciated beauty and fine art um, but I had no idea that uh, Therese was a painter and she when she was in, at Carmel she would paint prayer cards and various things to, to sell to help um, support the convent there and so father shared with us some of these pictures that he had taken of art that Therese herself had done which was just I was just floored and we'll share some of that with you um, maybe in the in the description here we'll share links but yeah just beautiful stuff and one of the things that really struck me was actually um, a pre-specimen that she embroidered I think um, and it had the face of um, the crucified Christ and there was a cross and um, and also she had lilies depicting herself and her sisters and she is the lily that's like half hidden 
which is very Therese, like small and hidden. Um, and the lilies that are um, still buds were her siblings that died either um, as infants or as small children. And then the roses at the, the base of the cross represent her beloved parents. And so that also provided some of the inspiration for uh, the logo, just how she depicted her family so beautifully in those flowers all surrounding the face of Christ and the cross. Um, there are the three flowers are also a, a Trinitarian representation as well, um, three being a significant number for the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And what they also capture is that we are all on this journey together. You'll notice that the three flowers are all in different stages of blooming, which is so beautiful. Um, there's the, the, the still small new bud of like a new Christian or newly seeking person. Um, who is just starting to learn for the first time who Jesus is and what is the abundant life that he promises us. And then there's a, one of the blossoms is um, starting to open. And this would be someone a little bit further on in the journey, maybe choosing discipleship, um, really starting to get into the nitty gritty of what following Jesus involves. And then there's also the fully bloomed, um, the fully bloomed flower to remind us, you know, what we're all striving for is that full blooming in Christ's life that he calls us to. So I hope that every time you look at this logo, you'll, you'll think of even just one of those things. Um, I hope that it draws you closer to St. Therese and to Jesus and um, know that we're all here walking along the path with you. Have a great day.